Hi, everybody, and welcome to this very first Lick of the Week video. What are we going to do? Well, I posted a video for Jamie Cullum's These Are The Days, and there's a funky little lick at the very start of that song. Well, not the very start, but in the intro, which is just super cool to, you know, have in your grab bag. I'll also explain a little bit about licks and how they, just like chords, translate into a larger vocabulary, basically, so to speak, because the more you know, the more you can throw them in and just, you know, funk around like that. The lick was this, is this. In the song, it sounds like this. The, the concept that I, that I wanted to talk about is that placing this lick in another context can actually mean a totally different thing. For example, if I played something like this. Yeah, kind of a j jazzy progression again because, uh, because it's from a Jamie Cullum song, I played over a jazzy progression. In a second, I'll play it over a super poppy thing, okay? So like this. And now you see, I can even extend it a little bit and I get to sort of a different thing, which is kind of cool as well. First of all, let's just learn the lick, okay? The concept is something that is super common in all different kind of piano styles. It's sort of a triplet feel and the thing that you're doing, also vocalists like to do this thing a lot, okay? Stevie Wonder type, Beyonce, but actually any kind of singer that you can think of that uses riffs in their singing, this is actually the basis of almost any riff, okay? On the piano as well as on the vocal cords. So the concept is this. Yeah? So basically when you're thinking from G, the key that we're in in the Jamie Cullum song, not to limit you to use this lick in G, also a very cool thing that I will get to in a second. But if you're thinking in G, then it would move from the 2 to the 3, to the 2 to the 1. You know, we're in this pentatonic, okay? G pentatonic or E minor pentatonic, okay? Sounds cool, right? I know it sounds super familiar and that's the thing with licks. They are somewhat familiar, just like a chord, you know, a chord is, if I just play a C, then you know, okay, well, it sounds familiar because, yeah, well, that's just the structure of that C chord, something that we are used to using and hearing. So, same with the, this lick, so, okay. If I play it like that, it's more uh, something like a melody, but works perfectly fine. And actually, we're not actually in G right now. Eh? G mixolytic, maybe, but, but the F is not in the G, which shows you that you can reuse it instantly. Okay, um, but let's say that I play it like this now. Okay, we're getting more to that other version, but in itself, this is a very cool version to play it as well. So the technique is to make sort of a triplet feel out of... Okay. If you got that down, the down part that goes fast, then you're halfway there actually. So. Just try and play, we're playing a G, if, if, you, if you can't play the chords with your left hand, just stick to the roots, okay? Yeah, I, I actually kind of like that progression, so we're not actually in G anymore, but it doesn't really matter. It sounds nice and it fits, so. A minor.
Okay. Now look at another cool thing. Because that is the foundational concept of, the, of this lick. Yeah? But say I play it like this. Okay, so actually I gave you two options. That works, but just play them, playing them all quickly after one another is where we're getting to the actual lick over here. Is actually that, but the thing is that it's doubled over here with a quarter feel as it's called you know that's also super common and i will get more into detail in other videos but for the sake of not making this video too long and just teaching you this cool lick here's what you're doing you're in g the thing that you want to do is keep the five at the top so you're walking actually over the three and the one and the two of the g and it works very well on the parallel chord as well because you know we're in this pentatonic okay G pentatonic or E minor pentatonic that's done E minor if I play a 7 over here yeah regular E minor E minor 7 because now the notes are actually a little more juicy than they were on G because it's no longer just a 5 but now it's a seven okay and an 11 over here even getting to a five and a third so and that's the beauty of this lick okay so yeah what you're doing sorry <laughs> i'm sort of bouncing all over the place forgive me it's my first video on a lick okay try and do that so the concept is the same right it's this that is moving then you just add that one and every time that you hit the A, you're hitting that one as well. Or you can just kind of leave it there. But is what makes it cool, okay? Now the, the awesome thing, uh, ex uh, next to all the other awesome things that I already told you, is that you are free to interpret this one place this one, time this one the way you feel and want because if I do I know the nuances are tiny but I hope that you get what I'm talking about you hear and feel what I'm saying and a very important thing because we are uh, extending our vocabulary right so we have to be able to reuse this know that this is perfect for G and E minor Say you wanted to translate it to C, then what we're doing, if we're taking a look at the relationship of the notes, as mentioned, it's a 2 and a 4. So on C, oh, it's not a 2 and a 4, I'm very sorry, it's a quarter, but it's a 2 and a 5, okay? So on C, that will be a 2 and a 5, right? C chord, the 2, the 5. So when you're in... A minor or F or C related chords and this is something that I wanted you to sort of give as a home exercise assignment find which flavor you like on which chord because if I play C then that is our lick translated to C okay it's exactly the same as what I just did but now I just transpose it to a, a minor pentatonic or C pentatonic and I played the 2 and a 5 or if you want to take a look at it from the A then it's the 4 and a 7 but I could also play because C is to say we're playing C major 7 that's also nice right that thing that we took from G because now you have sort of a different flavor with that major 7 over here and the 6 and the 5 and a 9 Okay, so that way you're free to choose which key spice you use where, but as a general rule, if you want to keep it simple, then stick to the pentatonic scale that matches the key of the song, okay?
that's it for this lick. Again, it's played like this. Haha, <laughs> I didn't even show you that end. That's the core, but then you do. Easy stuff, right? Again, pentatonic. Um, right guys, that was it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please let me know what you thought about it and also what you want to learn. Uh, maybe a cool lick. Just tell me a cool lick that you want to learn. But also what you think might be better if I did something else the next time that I filmed a video like this except for just jibber jabbering bullshit all the time. Feedback is welcome. I want to keep doing these videos for you. So let me know what you want to know, okay? That was it for this one. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.